So Norm and I are back out on the, uh, the beautiful horse farm today. The owner still says there's some woodchucks and pigeons to deal with, so we're gonna try. Um, we're doing this setup video about 10 minutes into the hunt because we're not seeing anything. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Give it a little bit more here and then move on to the pigeon spot. What do you think, buddy? Try out these new slugs? Yeah, we're gonna try out the Nielsen, we call them the dimpled slugs. Uh, they're not quite as deep hollow point as his other ones that we were using, 36 grain, um, but they shoot real accurate out yeah. to 150. There's like, you know, we're all touching. Yeah, so, that's insane accuracy. It's just whether or not we're getting those those nice hits anymore. But as long as they do the job, they're air guns, right? It's about accuracy, not expansion. So absolutely, we'll see if that holds true. Yeah, <laughs> all right, let's get you it bet. done. That's 81 yards. 81. Yep. To that light green bush. Yep. All right. I'm gonna hold one MOA. Done. Yeah, buddy. That nice curled shot, in perfect. Buddy. Thanks. Nice shot. It's Ooh. awesome too. You can see the wind with these uh yeah. with these pollen markers. And back out a little bit so the folks at home can see what we're seeing. He never moved. But I mean it's like match made in heaven right there. It's oh just yeah. Begging you to take longer shots. One MOA. Yeah. Wind. Yeah, you want to go see where it went in? Yeah. All right, let's go. I watched that slug curl in so perfect. We're using these little dimple topped uh, slugs. They're not nearly as shocky as those big hollow points, but it doesn't matter when you hit the light switch. <laughs> So itchy with all this stuff. I know, man. It's blowing all over the place. But it's like it's like we have our own personal squeeze bottle of pollen. Yeah. To give us wind calls. Absolutely. So I'm not complaining, even if I end up sneezing later. <laughs> right. That's about as perfect as shot placement gets. I mean, it went <laughs> literally right in underneath the ear. So that's why he never moved. Just flipped the switch. With only one woodchuck seen at the first spot, we decide to head to the other side of the farm. But first, we're going to stop off at a plowed field on the way on the other side of the road. Alright, 185. I'm going to hold 9. now oh it went right over his back man oh yeah <laughs> oh I'm gonna hold uh Oh, right over it. Right through it. Yeah? Yeah, that was a good shot. All right, I'm on him. Ready? Yep. Three, two. Whoa. Yep, ah! but. Yep, but uh, we didn't miss. No. Nope. Ready? Yep. Three, two. Ooh, yep. Feathers. Yep. I'm telling you, man, that's what we're gonna get. Ah! Man. Oh yeah, that bird should have just flopped right over. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to get annoyed with these, honestly. See my top fence. Oh yeah. Ready? Yep. Three. Two. Oh. Where'd he go? He's still there. Oh, over there. I can just see his head, alright. Ready? Yep. Three, two. Done. Yeah. Oh, but he got back up. That hit him so hard and he got back oh up. God, you hear there's one up there. Yep. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two. Done. Yeah, <laughs> that one's done, done. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's like three in a row and we only had one go straight down. 
We need hollow points, man. Test over. Oh, I do. Oh my God, that was so close. Perfect wind call. Two. Oh yeah, that's a cowbird. Yeah. Yep. Let me know when you're ready. Three, two. Oh! <laughs> I think I jumped you. I don't think it mattered. <laughs> Yeah, I got the slightest wind coming from the left. Right. I'm gonna put my crosshairs on the top of his back. Okay. Ready? Yep. Wait, you, there is another. Yeah, I see it to the right. Are you gonna try and? Are I'll we gonna? Take the one to the right if you want. But do we want to try and double That's or? That's what I mean. Okay. All right, so I'm on the one on the left. You're on the right. Yep. Three, two, two. Mine's oh. dead, dead. I don't think mine is. I think I saw feathers, but... Yeah, he's flying like he's yeah. hit. Those dimpled slugs, man. Yep. And mine is, like, through. ridiculously dead. I heard it. Norm just pointed out that uh, that thing left half of its feathers <laughs> on the roof. <laughs> that hollow point did its job. Going to retrieve... Keith's pigeon, he just shot off that third barn. <laughs> he was, uh, it was maybe the hardest hit bird all day. He was sitting there like this, man. <laughs> <laughs> In preparation for the roof retrieve, if there is one. There was another pigeon circling forever. So we're thinking that uh, we got one belly up and that's keeping him away. So we'll go grab him and maybe set him up. In here is a decoy. Sounds good. Oh, and uh, oh, there's another one. Probably get rid of <laughs> Shot earlier. <laughs> oh, he's stiff. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, yeah. As it turns out, we didn't need the rake, but I didn't want to walk all the way back for it, so. At least we got this one, and then we can set him up over there, like I said. Hopefully, draw that last one in. And cut it. I'll you the retreat, but it was a little bit. Uh, on YouTube friendly because it was the Nielsen did its job. Oh, that's hard ground. Is it? Yep, but that should work. Wrap his head up. Oh, yeah. That should up our chances. Heading back to the sniper's hide <laughs> after retrieving. We're not here because it's the best game. We're here because it's the most comfortable. <laughs> nice and shady and cool today. Ready? Yep. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> he's still, oh, he's done. No, he's all done right there. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Three, two. <laughs> oh, he's still running. Yeah, he is. No, he just fell. He's down, down. Is he? Yeah, he's flopping right there. <laughs> I just saw his head poke back up for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that did it. That one did it. <laughs> he's right behind that post. I can't yeah, see him. I couldn't see him when I shot either. I just saw where his head had popped up. Yeah. And, uh, there's no mistake in that sound. No. Well, let's let's go grab him just to make sure. All right. And see the bird in the crosshairs. It was just the grass. I saw his head pop up like the littlest bit. Then go back down. So I just came in the grass and touched it. Pretty sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good call. He's all done now. 
No mistake in that sound. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had the opportunity at a double, so I tried it. <laughs> they lined up so nice, I had to try. <laughs> Sorry, Norm. That's all right, buddy. <laughs> That's payback for last time. Yeah, right. All right, so it wasn't the most active day, but we had fun anyway. It was gorgeous. I mean, have you had a day this comfortable pesting like ever? <laughs> no, we're sitting in the shade here yeah. with a nice breeze. Uh, beats beating out in the sun. Yeah, it's kind of hard to complain even with slow action. So hopefully we got some really nice footage of some slugs in flight. And uh, I think we definitely noticed the difference between the slug construction of oh, yeah. a dimple and a huge hollow point. So that was cool. I mean, it's, you know, kind of intuitive anyway, but people always ask, you know, do they really expand? Are they flying fast enough to expand? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, without, <laughs> without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, so anyway, we hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, we hope you subscribe to see what we're coming out with next. Have a good one. Later. Three, two. Done. Done, done.